Lenny's Rocky Adventure with the Bubble Buddies by Teddy Snuggletail for Comfy Corner Time. Many, many moons ago, the Shelleys, a lovely limpet family, moved in on a rock above a beautiful sea meadow. Little Lenny watched with amazement at the frolicking Bubble Buddies below. Oh, how he wanted to join them! Then, one fateful day, driven by desperation, Lenny let go of the rock. The tiny tyke twisted and twirled and tumbled to the ocean floor. Lenny struggled onto his foot, brushing himself up. Whoops-a-daisy! A seahorse arrived at full speed, nostrils flared. Quite the fall, eh, little chap? Charger's the name, he said. Lenny's foot quivered, his voice small and sad. My family is up there, but, but it's too high. Charger smiled at the little limpet. No hills too high for friends. And with that, he summoned help. Coco, Tango! I do believe we have an adventure on our fins. Lenny gazed longingly at the towering rock above, his heart torn between home and the meadow. Behind him, the bubble buddies huddled together, chattering excitedly about the plan. Quietly, he tried to climb the first rock. Tango watched the plucky little Lenny's efforts and swam in behind to help push. Just as hope flickered, Lenny slipped, his sandy foot losing its sticky grip, sending him tumbling back down. Coco, with a flurry of flips, tried to hoist him up, but Lenny, caught in a fit of giggles, just bobbed like a laughing bobble. When Charger attempted to loop his tail around Lenny's foot, the tickles had him in fits of laughter, turning their rescue into a playful, underwater fanfare. As the day marched along, the sunbeams in the meadow, like Lenny's spirit, began to fade. He missed his mummy and daddy. Oh, how he longed for home! The Bubble Buddies, now a whirl of whispers and bubbles, plotted tirelessly to desand Lenny's foot. Overwhelmed with sadness, Lenny crumbled. Tears streamed down his sandy foot, his little shell quivering with every sob. Soon Lenny's tears turned to tears of joy. As they streamed down over his foot, the sand began to lift. Coco used his flurry of flippy tail fins to wash away the falling sand. The tickles only made for more tears of laughter. All right, team. Operation Lenny Liftoff begins now, declared Charger, rallying his friends. The Bubble Buddies' plan was to combine their efforts together and push Lenny back up the rock face. Charger wrapped his tail around Lenny's shell this time, while Tango pushed. Coco went ahead, swishing his tails to keep the rock face clean and to plan a route. They would need regular rests if the plucky little limpet was going to make it home tonight. As the sun began to set, the now four Bubble Buddies set off on their adventure. Ledge after ledge they pushed on. Poor Lenny was exhausted. His new friends kept his spirits high with encouragement. Together, as a team, the Bubble Buddies arrived at the last step. One last push. Push! They all cried together and Lenny was home. The Bubble Buddies cheered and giggled. Their teamwork had paid off. I'm back! cried Lenny, so overjoyed to be reunited with his family that he stuck 
to his daddy's shell. Thank you, thank you, Lenny exclaimed to each of his newfound friends. I couldn't have done it without all of you. The bubble buddies smiled, feeling proud of their efforts. Remember, Lenny, said Charger, when things get tough, friends stick together and never give up. From that day on, Lenny didn't have to dream about what it would be like to play in the meadow below. He had had his very own adventure. Besides, most days the Bubble Buddies would come and visit the newest member of the team and tell him stories about their bubbly adventures. The story of Lenny and his Bubble Buddies became a legend on Limpet Ledge. It was told to all the little limpets as a tale of caution and the importance of friendship and perseverance. Thank you.